tight YouTubers, excuse me, they're not also uh, something important. So, sweet tobaccos, tobaccos right now, like the big ass cigars. So, uh, obviously, not appropriate for the last damn time for children uh, because of the bullshit. So, uh, uh, bullshit is bullshit. We don't know that bullshit is bullshit. So, uh, I don't, I'm not talking about that kind of fucking bullshit. So, uh, anyway, talking about basically right now, uh, um, nasal snuff and royalty. So, uh, you have nasal snuff, which is dry powdered snuff, uh, <clears throat> not to be confused with uh, dip, chew, and snooze. But uh, nasal snuff, powdered snuff, uh, was very common one time with royalty. So, uh, aristocrats, um, people in very high um, levels of royalty, even clergy. So, uh, after tobacco, you know, tobacco was found to be a cash crop in the uh, 1700s, you know, it was found to be so lucrative because before that, they would actually excommunicate people and actually execute people for possessing uh tobacco because uh, they consider it, uh, you know, blasphemous or, or wrong, uh, but then they found out it was so lucrative and so productive, uh, they actually, um, uh, you know, it became so popular, it became a cash crop. Uh, many, many, many royalties, many, many people of very high power started using tobacco, uh, and in aristocrats and royalty, nasal stuff was by far the most common, the most fucking common, uh, and among peasants, it was uh, smoking primitive cigars and primitive pipes, nice big-ass pipes, big-ass cigars. Anyway, that is basically the history of nasal snuff is very uh, interesting, very fucking interesting, uh, and that's kind of the thing. That's kind of the gist of it. So, anyway, pretty fucking cool. Bye.